Welcome to the Ohio University Antenna Anechoic Chamber. This tour will give you an idea of what the chamber is used for as well as many of its capabilities. Planning for the chamber began in 1999 with the intent to use it for three main purposes. One, for sponsored research through prototyping and in-house design verification. Two, for graduate education through a variety of research projects and three, for undergraduate education as a tool for laboratory experiments and senior design projects. An indoor facility was favored due to the ease of use and year-round capabilities inside an existing university facility. The shielded walls provide data integrity via a high-density three-quarter inch wood core laminated by 26 gauge galvanized steel panels on each side. The shielding has been tested to provide at least 100 dB of isolation from 900 megahertz up to 3 gigahertz. The anechoic material that lines the walls provides data accuracy and validity by ensuring minimal signal reflections off of the walls, floor, and ceiling. Antenna measurement is performed with the hybrid near-field scanner. This type of scanner can be used to measure electrically large antennas by performing a near-field measurement and then projecting it into the far field. This scanner also maintains the flexibility to perform direct far-field measurements for electrically small antennas. To maintain such a high degree of shielding, the chamber must be tightly sealed electrically. But in order to pass electricity, ventilation, and radio frequency signals from an experiment, several penetrations are required. Electricity passes through a 30 amp filter, which attenuates signals above 14 kilohertz. Ventilation passes through several honeycomb waveguide openings to isolate any electromagnetic radiation. RF connections pass through tight RF connectors on shielded panels. And the capability does exist to pass fiber optic signals through the shielded wall as well. The entire chamber is then tied to a single point earth ground within the building. The antenna measurement system consists of four main components which are tightly integrated. First, and the heart of the system is the 8753 network analyzer. This device generates and transmits the signals and then receives the response from the antenna under test. Second is the scanner itself. This is essentially a sophisticated motion control platform. The scanner positions the transmission and reception antennas in order to scan the proper fields. The scanner is controlled by the third component, the motion control box, which is a series of servo controllers which drive the positioners in the scanner for sliding or rotation. And finally, the entire system is controlled by a high-end PC running specialized software for motion control, data collection and processing, as well as visualization. The antenna measurement system uses a 7-axis scanner because it provides seven different ranges of motion. These seven degrees of freedom provide a number of different scan types. The first is planar, which provides 76 inches by 76 inches for scanning. This can be used for high gain, narrow beam antennas, reflectors, and phased arrays. The second type is cylindrical. It provides 360 degrees by 76 inch scans. This can be used for fan beam and linear array antennas. The third, and most common, is called spherical, and it provides 360 degree by 360 degree scans for low gain and broadband antennas. Spherical. In this mode, the scanner positions the probe to a certain rotation, and the arm is swept through 360 degrees. This is repeated for incremental rotations of the probe until it has covered the full 360 degrees as well. Planar. In this mode, the scanner positions the antenna under test and sweeps the probe up and down in the y-axis while moving the x-axis from left to right. The antenna under test remains fixed. Cylindrical. In this mode, the arm is rotated 90 degrees to turn the antenna under test sideways. The probe is fixed in the y-axis and sweeps left to right in the x-axis. For each sweep of the probe, the antenna under test is incrementally rotated until it covers the full 360 degrees. 
In summary, Ohio University is putting to use a shielded antenna measurement system. It's located indoors for convenience and has a high degree of isolation and accuracy for numerous applications. This facility will be used for sponsored research, graduate and undergraduate education, providing capabilities to prototype and verify antenna designs. We are very excited about the possibilities that this facility brings and hope to find more and interesting applications for it.